So I recently did a video called how to lose weight with chicken nuggets. And I just had a similar situation about 23, 24 days ago with, with somebody that told me that they were going to follow some diet that they found online. I think it was on Instagram where I'm not going to say the name of the diet or the person that is advocating it, but you're supposed to eat pineapple and tuna and cottage cheese or something like that for 21 days. And you're supposed to lose X amount of weight, you know, whatever. Uh, and so this per particular person, you know, has, uh, they, they love Oreos. That's their favorite, you know, comfort food. Just like the video that I did with the chicken nuggets, this person loves Oreos. So when we talked about 24 days ago, this person was telling me that the night before they went on an Oreo binge, like literally ate almost a whole packet because they weren't going to be able to eat Oreos for the next 21 days. And first of all, there's too many, there's a lot of flaws with that because this is, this is where many people also assume that, you know, once you do a diet and then you're done, you don't have to, you know, worry about the post diet, uh, you know, like, like the aftermath, like you have to take care of your body and your health after that too. So here, what I told her was this, I said, why don't, why don't we, why don't you try this? Why don't you give, what, give me a, tr give me a try and let's try this instead. Instead of doing this diet for 21 days where you're going to restrict yourself of all, of all the you know, of all the stuff that you like, you're gonna eat eat all this ridiculous shit. And there's nothing ridiculous with, with those things. So we like pineapple and tuna and cottage cheese. Those are very nutritious things. It's just the, the, the preposterosity, to coin a phrase, of having to eat those things and thinking those things have a magical uh, properties that are gonna make you lose fat magically. I said, why don't we try this instead? Why don't you eat six Oreos every single night and which is equal to about 300 calories because this person loves chocolate and Oreos. And I said, let's eat, eat six Oreos every single night and eat a low calorie hot chocolate, which is gonna be about 50 calories. So that's gonna equal to 350 calories. So eat six Oreos every single night, eat the hot chocolate, drink the hot, eat it with the, with the hot chocolate and the rest of the calories that you were gonna eat with this particular, you know, fancy diet, let me adjust them to foods that you like and will fit them into your plan. So for the rest of the day, this person was eating healthy. She was eating three, three to four meals that of, of optimal food, vegetables, protein. And then at night she was having the six Oreos. Well, it turns out that she actually ended up losing more weight than what the plan had promised, than what the special diet had promised. And the reason for that is, is so, so I guess the, the moral of the story here is you can lose weight eating anything. That guy ate all the sandwiches he wanted in last week. He is so cool. As long as you're in an energy deficit. So if you ever come across a fancy diet or something where drink this in the morning and you're gonna lose 20 inches off your waistline and you're gonna disappear, be aware of those kinds of things because at the end of the day, what those things are doing, they're just doing an excessive energy uh, caloric restriction, which of course you're gonna lose weight. But those things don't keep in mind uh what you have to do after that like what do you do after you lose the weight so i guess the other moral of the story is that i'm teaching this person sustainability like yes you can you, you're supposed to eat healthy you're eating high protein vegetables fruits uh you know a lot of nutritious things and you do have room for flexibility fl uh, flexibility as long as you're doing it in moderation and you have portion control over that so that's much efficient so whatever i, I want you to apply this to yourself whatever food you like uh, remove Oreos and replace in, uh, you know, instead of that, add pizza, burgers, fries, whatever. <laughs> whatever food you like, you can have it every day if that's what you wish. Just do it in moderation, but make sure that 80, the 80% 80 of your diet is optimal foods like vegetables, proteins, uh, fr uh, fruits, whatever, whatever it is that you prefer. Um, instead of doing some crazy quick fix diet, because that's only gonna teach you temporary, uh, it's gonna only gonna give you a temporary result, whereas doing something that's sustainable, that's gonna help you lose the weight, is also gonna teach you how to keep the weight off, such, such as this person did. Like, she was shocked that I told her, you can eat six Oreos every night. I'd rather you do this instead of restricting yourself for 21 days, and then after the 21 days are over, you go on a binge and you go eat 100 Oreos and you put the weight back on because you were craving them so much. In this case, you were able to monitor yourself and control yourself. And not only did you lose the weight, but you were able to get your cravings out of the way. Now, I'm not saying that Oreos are the key to weight loss. Uh, they're, they're, I mean, any, any food can be labeled as such, but they're not. I'm just trying to prove a point that it's always better to have a little bit of something every single day that you love paired up with or I should say dominantly followed with a, an optimal diet so that you can sustain it. So 
Again, don't fall for any of these quick fix diets or any of these things where they restrict you of the things that you love for 21 days or for some magical coffee or tea detox drink because at the end of the day, it's just severe uh, caloric restriction and when you finish it, you still have to think about how to keep it off. So hopefully you found that video helpful. If you did, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next one.